Hello and welcome. So in this video, I'm going to create a voting app with database for selecting the best player according to the audience. Okay. So I'm going to use PyWebIO library that is come in a Python and we don't need to use any HTML, CSS, JavaScript for developing this web application. Okay. So first of all, what you have to do, you have to just install one library that is PyWebIO. PyWebIO. Okay. So I already installed it. So let me show you guys how you will install okay so pip install pi web audio sorry pi sorry pip install pi yeah so as you can see guys requirement already satisfied so i don't need to install it again so yeah okay So we start working for our project. So first of all, what you have to do, you have to import this library uh, like this from myWebIO.input import a strict. So it will import all the necessary modules for input. So let's take an example. Suppose I'm going to take name as an input. So for that, I'm just going to use name and your and uh, there is a specify the type of the text okay so as you can see guys I get a column I get a table that is input your enter your name so enter your name and just place submit okay so it will not doing anything but it will do something just watch it okay okay so that's how it will work so first of all we have to import all the things this is basically input is for taking inputs and for output for displaying something on the page okay okay no okay yeah okay so suppose i am going to first of all i have to check whether the person is eligible for voting or not okay so for that i will use a uh, age checker whether the person is 18 or greater than 18 so it will be, he be, or she will be eligible for voting or otherwise it will not okay so for that uh, First of all, I have to create a function. Like, uh, suppose voting, and it will take two arguments, not two arguments. Uh, in this function, I will take two values for the name of the person. Like, uh, enter your name. The type of the name will be for text here. Yeah. Yes, I text and the age of the person. Which guys you are not. Text is not defined in various and text. Why? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, again. Input function is the same. Thank you. 
Yeah, it's working now. Okay. So after then we will check whether the age is greater than 18 or not. So if age, so just me drop this. Okay. If age is greater than or equal to 18, it will print the message like uh, for printing something on this, we use put text. Okay. Okay. So after that. There's a message that we check your details. Check your details and for showing detail, I'm going to use table. Put table function. It will display a table on the web page. So for that, uh, just uh, it will in the form of list. And uh, first, we'll think will be what name. Second thing is what age, okay. So just check uh, parameter that I will provide that is name, it is our variable, and age, okay. So it will display a table having name and age. There's some error, like uh, let me check, guys, what is that? Just give these value inside a list. I hope it will work now. Okay, noise is looking cool. Okay. So what we have to do next, we have to, we just check whether the age is greater than 18 and and display the text that is check your details and the if detail is correct. So there should be a checkbox and, and it should be check if the details are correct. Okay. So just check, take a variable name check the checkbox and inside this check your details. So that is I have to provide a value. Sure, okay. Okay, options are there. Options and all inputted values are to all today's today's are correct. Yeah, if we check this box it will true otherwise it will not true if check it's true and there we will do the selection of uh, selection for that we need a radio radio type inputs and text will be select here suppose i'm going to create a election voting type uh, web application so select your party okay so for that i will take uh, suppose i'm going to take uh, three parties you can take as many as you want so just uh, just take uh, congress bjp one more like uh, get your app okay so it will selection basically selection variable will store your records and after then i have want to print a message that uh, by selection not uh, there is no need for checking after selection i want to print a message like a put and your response has been recorded thanks thanks response has been recorded okay and after then 
and after that I will check uh, key in, I'll check whether there's a additional users or not for key porting so I'm going to take a variable name keep voting and for this I will choose a radio again keep voting and we'll give two values like yes no why should be capital okay if keep voting in equal equal yes so if we call this function again and else we'll return a value like a put text Voting has been ended and we will announce the result soon. Okay. We can also provide a styling here like this. Let's take a style keyword. So then give comma like a color should be green. Let me small different fonts. Okay. No, we should work on the else part. If part has been done, if the ADS get us an 18. Or for that else part. We just put a text show are not eligible for voting and should be in a green in color so it will make a negative sense time. Color green and the same thing my guy voting continue voting yes or no like that yeah I hope it will look good now and it will make sense just try it Okay, suppose so just me just take a name like Alexa and submit it and whatever A21. Okay. So check your details. That details are correct. Just check this mark and select your party. Suppose I'm going to select BJP, like a submit, and you could see a message. Thank you, response has been recorded. And after then keep voting. If you want keep voting, just take yes and submit. And enter your name like uh, Philip Philip and submit age just 26 and support uh, all details are correct yes check this mark okay so certain so, so congress okay submit thanks your response has been recorded thanks your response has been recorded and key voting just take yes submit again like say a name like uh, any name you can take like a Rahul okay and the age of the Rahul is 12 so you should not you are not eligible for voting okay so it should be green in color I will change it later and there is not asking for key voting or not okay so let I have to do some changes there if key voting like this yeah this is missing this is missing in the else part no issue, I will fix it yeah, like this and it should be green, it should be red in color it should be green as okay it 
should be a red in color. Okay, now I hope it will make sense. Okay, so scavenge, scavenge, and submit uh, 23. All details are correct. Let's check this mark. Sorry. BJP. Okay. Thanks for your response. Has been recorded. Keep voting yes. Like again. Like uh, A B C a person. Okay. So A is 12. So you are not eligible for voting. Keep voting yes. Okay. So I, I would like to take a one more name like Alexa again. And the A is 19. So it will be she will be eligible for voting yes all details are correct check this mark this is the selection okay thanks your response has been recorded again and keep voting in this time i'm selecting no so there will be a message that voting has been ended okay so voting has been ended and we will announce the results soon so that's how we will create a web application without using html css and javascript within 20 minutes i think okay so if you want to connect it with a database like all the all record all inputted value should be updated or recorded in the database automatically so i will do this in the next video so thank you